I don't want content to be the only thing I do in my free time. We need rest. Rest is productive. You want consistency? Well, you better honor your rest. There will always be work to do as a creator. Just because you can do it does not mean that you should do it. You're either going to have the restful break that you want, or you're going to continue running yourself into the ground and hit the new year feeling like mm -hmm. As content creators, we are constantly pushing ourselves to stay consistent. But what if taking a step back is actually the thing that we need to make our content better? Someone is in their comfy era. It is a sunny day here in Melbourne, but it's also a bit noisy out here, so let's go inside. Just like a garden that needs time to grow, we need time to recharge. So in this video, I'm going to share the things that help me take guilt-free breaks during the holidays. Because the fact is, for a lot of us, doing nothing is one of the most productive things we can do. And I'm making this video because I need this reminder too. I'm the kind of person that says I'm going to rest and then that rest time is spent doing something towards my content. I'm a, I'm a weirdo. I'm working on a caption or writing a new script or doing brainstorming for new content. Or I'm the weirdo that thinks that it's relaxing to sit there and edit my photos in Lightroom. Anyone else? But I really want to give myself the space and the downtime to pursue the things I like to do outside of content creation because I do feel like it's really important. And I miss my other hobbies if I'm being honest. I do not have it all figured out and I am currently working through this, but these are the areas that I'm focusing on. By the way, I don't know if you can see someone's little booty right here. Uh, that's a dog. That's a dog next to me. Come say hi. Come here. Big girl, I just disrupted her little nap. Hi, sweet girl. Say hello. Can I see your paw? Oh, <gasps> thank you. That's a nice paw. <gasps> that's a nice paw. So if you see a little head or a little bum poking out, that's, that's my girl Frances, okay? She's taking her nappy nap. It is so common to feel that pressure to constantly be on as a content creator, but I don't think that that's the point of all of it. Because for me, I do love creating content and that's the point of like doing this lifestyle and creating a life that you love and doing things that you enjoy. But I am also working towards work-life balance and I'm not just trying to replace content creation for my nine to five. And I think that if you do want both, you need to get really serious and create really strong boundaries and not get so caught up on what everyone else is doing. I think that's the biggest thing because there's this whole feeling of like, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. This person's doing this, this person's saying that. Because this content creation industry is evolving so much and growing so much like very rapidly there is constantly new things coming out to learn to do to to be and if you get caught up in it all it can be so overwhelming and eat you alive and at the end of the day it's mentally draining to just always try to be on it's just not realistic and that leads you to burnout and there's like so many negative sides to not having boundaries constantly being on working yourself into the ground hustle 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 like it's just not sustainable just don't want this journey to feel that way for me and i am okay with my journey looking different from someone else's as long as it's giving me that work-life balance that i want and as long as it's enjoyable and as long as i'm creating the content that i enjoy creating building the things that i want to build like that's that's what's important to me at the end of the day but not at the cost of me like burning myself out impacting my health in a negative way and like losing sleep and like like sacrificing like never hanging out with my friends like no 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 and like not doing the other hobbies that i like to do i don't want content to be the only thing i do in my free time because then it's no longer free time you know what i mean because this is now work like i love doing it i love doing it and i really feel like this year i could have spent more time doing my other hobbies and i didn't do that as much as i would like to so it's definitely something that i'm going to be focusing on and bringing into 2025. i have got better at this i schedule all of my instagram content for the week so I don't have to be on Instagram during the week. I might pop on once a day to like reply to comments if I get any or to reply to DMs if I have the capacity and that's a big if I have the capacity. If you've ever sent me a DM, you probably know that like I don't jump to my DMs right away and I'm not going to apologize for that because it 
is overstimulating being on Instagram. Being on social media is overstimulating and I like, I just can't sometimes. So I love creating content and putting that out there and you know, sharing my messages with the world. But that doesn't mean that I constantly need to be on and replying back to people as soon as they jump into my DMs. Like I appreciate every kind word, suggestion, all those kind of things that people do send and I do read them when I have the capacity and then I respond also when I have the capacity and sometimes I forget because I'm human. But I no longer make that a problem and I no longer make that mean anything about me. Like at the end of the day, I am protecting my peace while also staying consistent with my content. There might be a better way to do that to find more balance with that but this is just what's working for me right now. I, I'm constantly talking about like doing content in a way that works for you and not getting so caught up in what everyone else is doing and giving yourself the permission to do this in a way that you might not have seen before and allowing that to be okay and not be a problem and not beat yourself up because you're not doing it like Sally Sue that you know gained 50 subscribers in a 12 month period like that's cool I'm happy for Sally Sue but Jamie's on a different journey okay Jamie's protecting her peace and Jamie's not an overnight success her videos didn't all pop off at once no this is not the journey for me and that's okay. On the days where I am not glued to Instagram, I'm not refreshing to see how my posts did, I'm not attached to the result. Of course, I want my content to reach the people it's meant to reach. I'm no longer attached to that like I used to be. And it's such a freeing space to be in when I don't feel like I need to sit there and hit the refresh button 50 times to see how my post did. And I can take a step back and I can do other things in my life. All I know in that moment when my content goes live is that I did my best and it will land where it lands. And we move forward with life because I'm not going to get dragged down by a post for social media. Oh my God, the little colorful parrot. He's back. Hi. He's so cute. It's a Rosella. I'll put it on the screen. It looks like that. He flew away though. There's two of them. They come and they sit on my balcony and it's so cute. And I think that the people that used to live here must have fed them or something. Cause they like look at me like, where's my food? And I'm like predetermined agreement here or something that I don't know about because like I will feed you. I feel like I just went on a little tangent there about not being attached to the result of your content. Having your own back and trusting that like, you said what you needed to say and it's going to land with the right people. I think that that is such a powerful, powerful, like that is just such a powerful lesson to learn as a creator. And I feel like that only empowers you more as a creator, but that's not what this video is about, okay? If I look uncomfortable, it's because I pulled a muscle on my back, but um, we won't, we won't talk about that, okay? But that's not to say I still don't have a lot to work on when it comes to like always being on. I might not be refreshing my content to check how it's doing, you know, every second, but I still am always editing. And when I'm not editing for YouTube, I'm editing for short form content for YouTube and Instagram. And when I'm not doing that, I'm editing photos. And when I'm not doing that, I'm brainstorming content. Like, And of course, like that is the creative process. That is the creative flow. But it's like any free time that I have in my day, I am putting it towards that instead of creating the strong boundaries and saying, no, I, I can do scripting for one hour and then the rest is my time to do what I want to do. Like, and it's hard. I, th I think it's so hard when you love creating content. It really is because you enjoy it. Like you have ideas, things come to mind. An idea came to mind, I write it down, I move forward. Now I can focus on something else. A process of me trying to honor those boundaries that no, now is not the time for content creation. Now is the time to go read a book, pick up your paintbrush again. I've been itching for painting again and I haven't done any painting this year. And that's not why I started this content creation journey. I wanted it to be a part of my life, not in my entire life. You know what I mean? I don't want this to be my entire personality. I have things on my heart that I want to share and I love creating content and, you know, videos and all this again. I love the creative process. I love it. But I want this well-rounded life where I have time for other things and I'm not sitting there always just editing, editing, editing. What I think I'm trying to say is that there will always be work to do as a creator. There will always be something that you can do, but just because you can do it does not mean that you should do it. That is the overall concept that I'm really trying to wrap my head around and 
get a grip on in my life because just because you can does not mean you should. It's obviously easier said than done. And I just think that if you don't start setting those boundaries, you will constantly be in that cycle and you will work yourself into the ground. And for me, that's the worst place that I can be because that's where it stunts my creativity. Like I lose all creative flow when I am in burnout. It's just not gonna happen. Like I, I might create, but I'm not gonna create anything of quality and it's not going to be enjoyable creating those boundaries and really like honoring them not because you watched a video on youtube that told you you need to honor your boundaries but honor them so that you can have the life that you you envision for yourself where you have time to do the things that you want to do if you want to start doing more self-care things before bed but you find yourself editing right up until bed it's time to peel that back a little. Have some hard boundaries as to when you're going to stop editing so that you can pour into yourself at the end of the day. Like little things like that, I think that's where the magic happens. It doesn't have to be these extreme things, but it's just like giving yourself the 30 minutes and reeling things back, like even 30 minutes can make a huge difference in your quality of life. Think of yourself as a smartphone. You can push that phone to run multiple apps at once. It will navigate you through the day. You can keep it going, keep it going, but eventually the battery drains. You can use the phone while it's charging, but the battery is going to charge slower. So you're not gonna get the full benefits of that resting time because you're not in full rest mode. You're just not going to get the full benefits of rest when you're not resting at 100%. And with the phone, if it doesn't have time to recharge or you're running too many apps at once it becomes sluggish it doesn't work as well for me my phone volume starts to get lower and lower even if I put it on max because it's trying to conserve as much energy and power as possible and the same goes for us things will start shutting down to try and conserve the energy that you have left and you'll just be running on fumes the phone becomes unresponsive and eventually it will power down and that's when we run ourselves into the ground and then you get super sick your immune system shot your nervous system shot and then you can't create because your body is demanding the rest that you neglected to give it. And just like a fully charged phone, when you take that time to rest, you come back full of energy, back at 100%, baby. You get the focus, efficiency, and you're ready to perform at your best. Okay, so these are the things that help me shut off like actually shut off and rest that I'll be implementing over the holiday season. And if you have anything that you would like to add to this list, let me know because I will take any tips that I can get right now when it comes to this because we deserve the break, you guys, okay? We deserve the break and right now, we gotta start putting these things into action so that we can actually have the break that we want and we desire and we deserve because you don't need to earn your rest. I don't know who needs to hear that, but you do not need to earn your rest. You deserve rest. You, you can't function without rest. First, I'm going to like go into prep mode for the break. Like the break is a, an event, okay? The break is an event and we are preparing for this upcoming event. Now, if I want a couple of posts to go live during this time, that's perfectly fine, but I will be scheduling those in advance. These aren't things that I'm going to be, oh, I gotta put a post up really quick and then I'll go into it. No, 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 no. Scheduling anything that's going up on YouTube, scheduling anything that's going up on Instagram in advance. Next, I think it's good to get an idea, like a vision of what that rest is going to look like for you. And I feel like this can like breed like feelings of excitement because you're actually envisioning it and you're like, ooh, ooh, I can start my watercolor painting again. Ooh, I can finally read that book I picked up at the thrift store. Like, oh, I can finally, I can go for a hike at that new spot that I saw on, online. Like, that's where the excitement comes in. And for me, it's filled with like waking up, slow mornings, beach walks, going down to the cafe to grab a tea, reading more, painting more, cooking yummy food. And when I say reading, I mean more than 10 minutes a day, okay? I mean like full reading session, like me on the couch in a cozy corner with a cup of tea and a bunch of snacks, like 
we're going in on a reading session during this rest time, okay? Really get in the feels of the rest, the time away from content creation. Get excited about it. For me, it's just the excitement of like being more spontaneous. So maybe for you, it's just adding something that you've been wanting to do that you, maybe you've been putting off. Envision things that make you feel excited to take the break away from content. You know what I mean? Get excited over it. And what I love about finding things to get excited about outside of content or work is that I find that's when my creative ideas really go wild. And that's why I always have a running list in my notes on my phone. When I am taking time away, when I'm going on a walk in nature or showering or, you know, even reading sometimes, something will spark an idea. There's so much power in tapping into that side of creativity that comes when you're doing other things outside of social media. Because often when you are getting ideas from being on social media, they are just a copy and paste of what someone else has done or like you putting your own spin on what someone else has done. And that can be great and fun and a way for you to like express yourself. But I think that another layer to that creativity is allowing the inspiration to come from other areas of your life. I love that because the more ideas and inspiration, the better. I love having a running list of ideas because I never run out of content ideas, but that's not the point of this video. We're taking a break from content, but what I'm saying is the rest and taking time away from the content actually has benefits for the content itself in the long run. And I think that that's so amazing. So that's another thing that just gets me excited to take the break because I know that like fresh ideas are on the horizon when I give myself the time away from the actual process, my creative process of content. Another thing I'll be doing is checking my mindset. Like where's my mindset at right now? What mindset do I want to embody during this rest and before I enter this rest? I think that it's so important to be intentional about your mindset. It can take you so far in life. But think about what thoughts are coming up when you say I'm going to take a break and I'm not going to post on social media. What thoughts come up? Write some of them down, analyze them, challenge them, fact check them in a sense. A lot of people feel like, like I'm going to lose all my followers if I don't post. But is that really true? Is that true? No, it's not. Like, it's not. Like maybe if you don't post in a whole year, yeah, maybe. Enjoying yourself for a week or two, in the long haul, it's not gonna make or break things. You might lose a couple, but you're not gonna lose all of your followers and all of your hard work. I like to look at it like this. If someone is only interested in following me when I am on, 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 and like running myself into the ground with no regard on how creating this content is impacting me and my well-being, then I don't really care if they say or they go. Is that the kind of audience you want? Or do you want an audience that supports you in prioritizing your well-being and rest? I know which one I want. And speaking of your audience, it's important to communicate with your audience. You know, there's nothing worse than like a creator you regularly follow just like going dark. And like life happens and I'm sure, but like if you know you want to take some time off during the holiday break, put a post up. Like. It doesn't take long to do that. It doesn't need to be this lengthy thing. Send them well wishes for their break. Encourage them to take time off and take time away and like recharge, you know what I mean? Ask them what they're going to be getting up to. Like make it a way to engage with them, you know? Use it as an opportunity to engage with your audience and get to know them a little better and what they're up to. Like this doesn't have to be this negative thing, this scary thing. Like it can be just a way to connect as well. And I touched on this earlier, but just creating strong boundaries is so important in life, not just content creation and doing it unapologetically. Like I know if you're like me, like you can feel bad about enforcing your boundaries. You have to protect your peace because who else is going to? You have to protect that energy and that, that rest that you deserve, that we all need. And sometimes it comes down to like temporarily removing apps from your phone. Or I like to use a block app. So like certain times of the day, I, 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 am not, I do not have access to those apps. If I'm in an editing session and I want to be distraction free, I use those apps. But like it's a way for me to create boundaries around the things that I want. If I know I'm getting distracted or I know this is taking me away from like something else I would rather be doing, enforce that. Like 
be the one to create the boundary. So many people just don't want to be accountable to have to be the one to enforce these things, but this is your one life. Who else is going to do it for you? Like, it's time to grow up. It's time to own our circumstances and do something about the things we want. And like, I know that can sound really harsh, but it is the truth. Like, no one's gonna come into your house, take your phone and restrict you from scrolling on Instagram or, you know, editing a video. You have to be the one that's like, this isn't the life that I want for myself where I'm constantly on and not giving myself the break. Like you have to want it and you have to be the one to take the action to create the boundaries, enforce the boundaries, and honor the things that you need to give to yourself. Often it's so easy for us to give to others but we struggle to give those same things, that same love, support, and energy to ourselves and this is a great opportunity to work on that. Like when I say like using the block apps and blocking apps on my phone, this does get tricky especially when I'm just trying to watch YouTube as a consumer in my rest time. I just check myself. I don't really have this issue but I know a lot of people have issues with like checking their analytics a lot and like the YouTube studio app. Delete it off your phone for however long your rest is going to be. You know, if you're taking it two weeks off until the new year, delete it off your phone until January. Like, and don't make it a problem. It's fine. Like, it's going to be there when you get back. Sometimes it just gets to a point where you need to, like, really check in with your thoughts and take control of them. Because if your thoughts are telling you, like, I can't do that. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose all everything overnight. Like, challenge that challenge that because you are letting those thoughts that are running you into the ground, you are letting them run the show. And it's time for you to get back into the driver's seat as a creator and decide what you want this creator journey to look like. And especially over the holiday season when it's supposed to be time to like, I don't know, I don't know what the holiday season means to you. But for me, it's, it's a recharge. It's like soulful. It's connecting and doing things that make me joy. Like I live in another country and my family and friends are not here. And so I've had to really redefine like what the holidays mean for me and what they look like for me. And it's not working on content the whole time. That's not what I want it to look like. And no one is going to change that except for me. It's up to me to create that reality for myself. And I can't do it if I'm constantly listening to the thoughts that are telling me things that aren't even accurate. But yeah, I do use the block apps when social media is getting in the way of me doing the things that I want to do like painting or reading. Okay, I feel like I've been all over the place, but if you get it, you get it. But just remember that no one is going to make you do any of this. You're either going to have the restful break that you want, or you're going to continue running yourself into the ground and hit the new year feeling like shit. You have to want to do better for yourself and for your life, and you have to show up and take the action. And I say this in pretty much like all of my videos like this, I feel like this message comes out at some point because it, it is the foundation of so much of what we want for ourselves. And if you needed the reminder, remember that rest does not have to be earned. Like I'm saying this to you, but I'm saying it to me, okay? We need rest. Rest is productive. This is something I'm really trying to embody. Rest is productive. Like I know it is because like every time I honor it, it shows me that it's productive and I, I reap the benefits of honoring that. It breeds creativity, it breeds energy, and overall supports your well-being and happiness. And that will always bleed into everything that you do. Sorry, I keep hitting my plant. I got a bigger plant by the way. <laughs> Cute. Like I know that can sound like so like, whoa, that's a lot. Like, but it is, it's, it, it's so important. It impacts so much and I feel like we take it for granted. We take it for granted until it's too late and our body is forcing us to rest. Anytime I am setting a plan for a goal, I incorporate rest because rest should be part of your creative process. Like a non-negotiable, negotiable in our lives. Rest is required in order to stay consistent. So like circling back to what I was talking about, about how like there's this constant pressure as creators to stay consistent. Well, consistency is bred from rest. Rest is required in order to stay consistent. You want longevity, you want sustainability, you want consistency. Well, you better honor your rest because if you do not, you will not have the capacity to keep going. We're here for the sustainability, baby. We're not here to hustle into the ground. We're here to be 
sustainable creators, okay? We're here for work-life balance, okay? We're here to do this in a way that feels good for us, okay? We're here to like create a, an environment and routines that have our creativity flourishing. That's what I'm after for 2025 choice is yours and you can either honor that rest or you can hit 2025 with no gas in the tank running on fumes barely scraping by the first quarter of the year but you can also choose to do the hard things now honor your boundaries give yourself the rest that you deserve because rest is like filling your oxygen tank so you can continue on so remember to put that oxygen mask on and like a phone recharge yourself this holiday season so that you can hit the new year, feeling refreshed, feeling ready, energized, bursting with creativity, ready to hit the ground running with all your fresh new ideas, and just have excitement for the new year instead of feeling like you're dragging your feet over the finish line of 2024. We don't have time for it, okay? With the price of groceries, they say, okay? We don't have time for it, okay? Let me know in the comments what's your biggest struggle when it comes to rest. I would love to hear it because I feel like this is something that a lot of us struggle with. I'm a work in progress. It's okay if you struggle with this as well. I would love to hear anything that helps you in this area or, you know, what you're currently working on overcoming in general. Let me know in the comments. I'm wishing you all the best. Enjoy your holiday season. Stay safe. Consider subscribing. And I hope to see you tuning into another video soon. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye.